Breaking news, breaking news. Today we have a very good news. We are ending the year in a perfect way. What is that news? United States has decided to waive not to do certain types of visa interviews in 2022. So it will be given the visa without attending the visa interview. But not all types of visas. There are certain types of visas. You can see on the screen here, I'm showing you from the Department of State, Bureau of Consular Affairs through their website, travel.state.gov, where it says important announcement on waivers of the interview requirement for certain non-immigrant visas. So for those who do not know what is non-immigrant visa, Non-immigrant visa is a visa type which you are given to come to the United States to stay here for a specified period of time with intention of going back to your home country. Not with the intention of becoming immigrant. By immigrant, it means by becoming a permanent resident. So these are the visa you come as a worker, you come here as a student, you come as a visitor, all, all types of visas where you are given a certain time to come to stay in America, whether it is one week or five years, but that is a non-immigrant visa. So we are going to say, uh, to talk about this type of uh, non-immigrant visas. And this information came on December 23rd, two days before Christmas, so it was the perfect Christmas gift, but I didn't want to give this video on that particular day because people are busy with the Christmas. So I said, let's finish Christmas. Let's go provide this news is the New Year's news for people to know about. And also for those who are following some uh, news, we'll see on the Wall Street Journal, uh, there was that information. The same information was on the Street Journal. Uh, U.S. will waive in-person visa interviews uh, for H-1B, but also for other types of work visa. But this will be beyond. We'll be able to talk what other type of visas, uh, which we call temporary seasonal visas. Also, student visa will be part of it. Then we see uh, this is from the uh, for the uh, Economic Times. They have similar news also will be able to do that. And they are going to talk about the visa renewing. So there is the first type of visa. You apply for the visa. They are going to waive in-person visa interviews. But also there will be for the people who, let's say you are a student or you have a visitor visa for the United States, your visa has expired. Uh, within 48 months, you will be able to get another visa without having the visa interview. And I will explain some of the requirement conditions which you needed to have or to meet in order to get that one. A friend of mine is a Catholic priest. Uh, we studied together. He's from Eldoret, Kenya. Uh, he had a five years visa. Each summer he comes to U.S. as a priest. He's coming to for vacation, but also to help some of the priests here. So his visa expired. This has been there for quite some time. The one you do automatic renewal, there is no visa interview. So uh, he was given his visa uh, for another five years to come to America. So let's go and read and go and interpret what they mean by this uh, waiver for the visa requirement. As I said, it's a non-immigrant visa. So this is not like a green card visa. Uh, like uh, if you or you are married, like a K visa, or uh, the visa like uh, you have won the diversity visa lottery, those are not require are not part of this one because the requirement for uh, they haven't changed it. The requirement for immigrant visa, you must appear on in person interview, no exception up to this particular moment. But this one will be able to reduce a lot of the backlog and help so many people. So this is what they say. The Secretary of State in, so in consultation with the Department of Homeland Security. These are Department of State and Homeland. When you travel to the United States, you cross the border. Once you enter the United States at the airport. From the airport, that is you are under the Homeland Security other department. So you have to know that is something usual happens. You are going to another department. So they have to do the consultation with another department. And in this context, 
is Homeland Security. Has authorized the consular officers, which is their embassies, uh, through the end of 2022. So, through the end of 2022, to waive in person visa interview requirement for certain temporary employment non immigrant visa applicants who have a petition approved by the US Citizenship and the Immigration Services. So, this is the first category. I want you to understand. Usual for people who are applying for what we call the uh, work visa. The work visa must be first approved by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. So if your visa or your case has been approved already, there is no need for you to go for the interview, but you have to process and they have to put the visa stamp, but you don't go to the in-person visa interview. They give the examples of those visas. We'll see in detail what other types of visas. So this new authorization applies to the temporary workers applied to the H1, H3, H4, L, O, P, and Q visas who meet certain conditions, including that they are applying for the visa in their country of nationality or the country of residence. So you are in Uganda. You are in Kenya, you are in Nigeria, you are in whatever country you are. You apply from your only country of residence. The visa has been approved by the USAS. Then you will send your passport and then you will be able to be given the visa without going to the visa interview. Under this authority, Consular officers have discretion to waive the visa interview requirement for individuals based on those visa uh, who are uh, for that one. So this is another point. If you have already have that visa already previously, what they are saying, uh, you can be also given an, the same visa type without a visa interview. So the, if you are your first time to apply for the uh, H1, H3, H4, L, O, P, and Q, they are going to waive the visa interview. But also, they have discretion to waive discretion to waive uh, the visa interview requirement for individual petition based on those kind of visa applicants who were previously issued any type of visas. But as long as you have never been refused those type of visas or not ineligible to come to the US. So if you have uh, uh, you are applicant for the visa and you have ever been uh, previously given that type of any type of those visas, you'll be able to be waived again. So that is something you need to, to know that one. So in addition to that, now I'm coming to talk about students exchange visitor scholars so in addition to that secretary of state the secretary which is the secretary of state uh from the department of state uh, extended the previous approved policies to waive visa interview for the certain students professors researchers uh research scholars and short-term scholars or specialists these are f1 visas m visas and academic J visa applicants through the end of 2022. If you are coming as a student or you are coming as M visa, M visa is for those people who are coming to as a student, but for vo vo vocational or for the visas, you are coming as a student, but not a degree seeking program. You are coming here to study maybe, uh, let's say, uh, uh, special type of training, maybe uh, to become a director in the film or uh, to base on videography or to do some uh, to become a captain or I mean airplane, whatever all those kind of things uh, you'll be able uh, to get the M visa. And the J visa uh, are the visa uh, which you can come here is exchange visitor scholar or visa like Fulbright and other scholars who can be able to come through that way. Uh, so this is going, is, going, is going to also to give that type of waiver for those type of visas. So there are some conditions. Obviously, if you have ever been denied the visa before, 
they're not going to give the automatic without you going to the visa interview. So there are certain things you have to make sure that you are going to, to do that one. Uh, and some of these policies have been there before, but this is a more emphasis on that. That's why they say uh, previously approved policies. Because there are policies, usually like if you're a student, you are going to renew a visa as a student. You are going to get the visa without going to the interview. But this they are going to say, uh, now, even if you are applying for the first time, depending on the situation, they are going to do that kind of approval. So one change to the previous policy is that applicants eligible for the waiver of waiver authority uh, because they are the citizen of the uh, visa waiver uh, program participating, whatever those kind of things. But remember that when you apply, you must be in your own country of residence. Applicants must be applying based from their own country of residence in that particular way. Uh, remember, uh, like the police, certain individuals uh, partition based visa applicants, uh, the consular officers have discretion to waive the visa interview for those type of applicants who were previously issued any type of visas and who have never been refused the visa uh, unless such refusal was overcome or waived by whatever kind of those kind of situation. So, all in all, uh, as I said, usually it used to be if you are a student before, you are going to apply for, again, for a student visa, you have been to US and you go back to your home country, you apply for the same type of visa, you are going to have the waiver. So, those are the waivers they are talking about. Then they are talking about the wave of the uh, interviews for the temporary agricultural and non-agricultural workers. So that is another, another, another type of extension. Again, if you are doing any renewal, applicants renewing any visa within 48 months of exp expiration is also eligible for visa interview. So this is not just for this visa pension. This is what they are talking about here. It will be a waiver of in-person interview for any visa you, ha you have ever have. So this is a technique. If you, you currently, let's say you have a visiting visa and you go back to your home country, just go and apply. Even if you're not planning to come to America right away, as long as it is within two years, you will be given another visa without a visa interview. And you don't need to have the all the craziness about it. Let me show the, if you have, have visiting visa, let me show about uh, what we call. Uh, let me show the maybe I-20. Let me show about, uh, if I'm going to visit. Let me show uh, the invitation letter. They're not going to ask all those kind of things because you are going to renew within 48 months. But if you are going to renew after 48 months, that means you'll show, you'll go to the process. If you are a student, you are going from the beginning, everything, bank statement and everything, you are going to show those kind of things. This is the perfect thing, uh, obviously helping so many people. Uh, so this is the last part. They say consular resources and the local government restrictions vary widely. Each consular session is continuously reviewing its capacity to adjudicate visa application during the uh, during this worldwide pandemic and uh, we address global issues and the uh, and competing priorities we encourage applicants to check the website for relevant US embassy and consulate to confirm the level of services currently offered it, uh, offered uh, to find guidelines to apply for those visas without uh, interview in those particular type so what i'm going to do is this way I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, add uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this link of this uh, information and I'm going to post it uh, on the description of this video and I'm going to pin it is on the comment. But secondly, I want you in any country you are, you can go and check the website of the U.S. Embassy in your country. If you are coming as a student, if you are coming as uh, if you are going to renew the visa, look on those kind of conditions. 
the US Embassy website will be able to be updated in your own country, uh, whatever country you are. If you are US Embassy, you are in Tanzania, you can be able to see those kind of uh, those kind of uh, requirements which are going to be applicable in your situation. So uh, some of the embassies might not be able uh, to update but one last thing I want you to remind you is the fact that uh, in order to come to the United States, at the moment, you have to, you must have uh, the uh, COVID vaccine. That is uh, uh, that is the new requirement, which you must you 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 must know that uh, is something uh, which is there uh, is a requirement for everyone to have. So. As I said, this is a very good news. Welcome to the United States of America, each and every one, and all the best for you when you are looking for these type of visas. It is indeed great news. It is, has been the breaking news. It has been the great news. It will be able to help with the visas backlog. It will help so many people. Uh, people from India, especially those who are in the big backlog with the H1 visas, work visas, but also other types of visas, as I mentioned, you'll be able to see how important it is for you to get all these opportunities for you to process and come to the United States uh, at your exact time you're supposed to come without any problem. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember to share my video to other people so that you can see as many people as possible can be able to benefit from such information. Until next time, goodbye everyone. This is Ernest Boniface Makulilo, EBM, talking from Missouri, United States of America. Goodbye, happy new year, and all the best everyone.